Welcome to my workshop. My name is Tomasz and you're watching Casual DIY channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at this Creality Falcon 2 laser engraver and cutter. It does come with 22 watt module. So we're going to put it together, detailed assembly, just for you. And we're going to do some quick engraving and cutting tests to see what this machine is actually capable of doing. As you can see, the machine itself is nicely packed in this massive box. So I'm going to take everything out and we're going to have a look what we get in the box. Right, that's what you get in the box. Quickly, we're going to go through air pump, some paperwork and instructions. You actually got the honeycomb base plus the metal sheets as well. Power brick and the cables, 22 watt module glasses, bits and pieces to install everything. The frame itself, you got some rubber feet, you got extensions for the feet, some cables and quite a lot of testing materials. And we are getting this really nice cool plate to set up your focal point depending on what thickness of material you'll be cutting or engraving. That's actually quite interesting. I want to see that in action. So as you can see, this will be super detailed assembly that should take me about, mm, let's say, five or ten minutes. As this machine comes more or less assembled. Check it out. First of all, we're going to install the feet. As you can see, the tube for the air assist already in place in the brackets. <laughs> that is so, so cool. You also got three places where you can put the feet. So uh, let's put it just over here. And you just screw them on. Simple as that. As you can see, the motors, the pulleys, everything's neatly hidden away in the frame of the machine. And to be absolutely honest with you, already checked it for squareness and it's all 100% square. The next thing you want to check is the pulleys themselves. Have they got enough tension or do you think you should be adding a little bit more. I think I'm a little bit on the loose side, on this side and on this side. And it's super easy to actually adjust that. So that's the X axis here. The motor is just over here. So the whole mechanism to actually adjust the tension of the pulleys, it's right at the top here. So how do you adjust it? Well, on the frame here, on the X axis, You've got one bolt here. Undo that bolt just slightly so it does have a bit of wiggle room. And just over here, there's a bolt that's holding um, the whole mechanism for the belt itself. So, depending if your belt is a little bit too loose or is actually done up too hard, then you can adjust the tension just here. Mine is way too loose, so I'm going to adjust it. So it's at correct tension. That's a lot better. Okay, let's lock it in place with this bolt on top. And we are sorted. I'm going to repeat the same process for the Y axis as well, as the setup is exactly the same. Okay, let's install the laser module itself. Slide it in. Secure it with the bolts on the side. You've got a nice thick um, electrical wire here. And I have to say, even the quality of the wires is absolutely amazing. The port is just over here. Whack it in there. Simple as that. Over here on the x-axis, you've got the air assist hose that you just plug it in here. Now we can... Uh, attach both of these wires together so they're not in the way. You've got some Velcro over here to keep everything nice and tidy. With the package you do get some extra Velcro. So if you want to sort out your cables, you are covered there. As part of the package, as I mentioned, you've got the air pump. And the quality of that is absolutely fantastic. In here, you've got the filter, so from time to time, check it out and make sure it's clean. Now, all rubber feet to prevent any additional noise from the air pump going into your work surface. Absolutely fantastic quality there. 
The inlet is just over here. So let me connect the hose. Just like so. You can place it so it's out of the way. And what you need to do, plug it into the machine. And just here on the side of the frame, you can control the volume of your air pump. Absolutely brilliant. And there isn't any more extra power cords going into the air pump. And that's absolutely great as, you know, the less cables on your work surface, the better, that's for sure. On the other side, what we've got here, we can connect our power brick that powers the whole machine. You do have the on off switch, mini SD card slot and a mini USB port to your PC. And the last thing, the key itself. Whack it in place, switch the machine on and make sure your stop button is not engaged. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, you also get the metal base, making sure that you're not gonna burn your table or your work surface that the laser is standing on and you get a honeycomb base as well for cutting. And that's very important because it improves the quality and performance of a diet laser when cutting immensely. So it's a great addition to have. And there you go, it's ready to use. I just can't believe it. I already got a few lasers in my workshop, but by far this one was the easiest and the quickest to set up and to get it ready. Everything's more or less pre-assembled. The frame is holding the motors, the cables. There is no messing around with wires, anything like that. I have to say, it's giving me some really good impressions straight out of the box. But hey, the looks and how to put it together is not the most important thing. The most important thing is to see how it actually performs. And we're gonna have a look at that now. As I mentioned, the whole laser comes with this integrated air assist. So this is the air pump with some rubber feet, really nice feature there. And you can control the airflow from that pump in two ways. First of all, on the machine itself, you've got this um, adjustment wheel here. And also you can change it in the software as well. Now check this out. This laser module comes with some really cool safety features. You've got three LEDs, air, fire and uh, lens. Okay, so as you can see, the air is flashing red, which means there is no airflow from the pump. However, we are controlling that through the software, and as soon as we press start, the um, red flashing light will turn into green as the pump is now controlled by the software itself. Absolutely fantastic feature there. And what the other things do? Well, the lens indicates if the lens is dirty. If it's dirty, it will start thrashing red and you need to clean it out. And the fire indicator is exactly as you would think. If your project catches fire, it will tell you that straight away. So as you can see, it's a very intelligent and high tech module here in this Creality Falcon 2. On top of that, you've got a few other options when it comes to safety. As you can see, you've got a lock here and a, an emergency stop button. So you can be assured if anything happens, you are covered in both scenarios. And if you were looking for the reset button, it's just located on the module itself. All right, and I've got a three millimeter piece of plywood, and now we need to set up the focal point with that um, indicator that we've got with the machine itself. It does have three stages. First of all, we're gonna be doing the engraving test. So I'm choosing the uh, top option, and that's how you set up the focal point. Nothing to it at all. All right, let's crack on with the engraving test. Okay then, let's have a look at the results here. I think overall we've got really nice performance here, guys. Let's have a look. Check that out. Uh, this machine is capable of doing 25,000 millimeters per minute. Now for that option, I only got 60, 80 and 100 as the other two. I just didn't have that many options in light burn to create two more boxes. But I think you get the performance. I think even at 20, it will do a great job as 60 is really absolutely solid here. I look at the depth as well, how powerful this machine is, even with 2000 millimeters per minute. And as I said, this is three millimeter plywood, okay? So look at that, super, super deep. 
but overall really nice and detailed quality you can clearly see which ones are the best even at 20 percent power 2000 millimeters per minute absolutely spot on but 20,000 uh, millimeters look at that really really nice and solid performance here guys and now it's time for the cutting test first of all three millimeter ply and then let's check out the results i think as to be expected this will be a very very good performance here let's have a look yep <laughs> no issues at all guys 400 millimeters per minute even at 80 percent power no problems at all nice clean and crisp cuts no overburn anything like that three millimeter ply as i said so now it's time to check out something a little bit more substantial i've got this piece of six millimeter ply just have a look just making sure that you are aware it's twice as um, thick and we're going to have a look how this laser will perform with that same type of test okay let's have a look at the results as i said six millimeter plywood and let's see how many boxes will stay well it's not too bad can i pop a few more let's have a look yeah 300 that will go no problems ah 400 that's not going that's not going <laughs> and 100 percent 400 millimeters per minute that went through and as you can see it actually started to create a line on the back so it was nearly there to cut it through but overall really good and solid performance six millimeter ply guys uh, the numbers as you can see are a little bit dark i had to redo them as um, i've just used the wrong setup for that but uh, yeah that's why they are a little bit darker but look at that overall very very good and solid performance 400 millimeters per minute 100 percent power really good and as i said it almost went through on the order the last two boxes we can see some lines there so uh, it wasn't far off but yeah solid performance here guys but let's check out what this laser head can really cut through now what you're seeing is a 16 millimeter pine board okay so how many passes do you think this laser will need to actually cut through that let's have a look okay we're on number one and uh, now number two and it's done it in only two passes 16 millimeter pine bow look at that there's not even that much scoring on it absolutely great cut quality no overburn and just so you can see it that's 16 millimeters there okay very very good performance there's plenty power in this laser module for any projects how about engraving other materials like steel well look at that no issues at all in this case the settings were 300 millimeters per minute 100 percent power and check out the quality of that engraving steel for this machine no problem at all and look at that you can actually get different shades on steel as well fantastic performance as we are on the topic of performance for this machine check this out it can actually engrave at 25,000 millimeters per minute absolute amazing speed obviously the video itself is sped up five times otherwise we would be sitting here for about five minutes and look at that 25,000 millimeters per minute 100 percent power usually you will get just a light shade but this machine is absolute beast the engraving is so vivid and it's actually quite deep so much power in the module okay now it's time to cut three millimeter black acrylic and that's pass number one let's have a look ah yeah there you go it went through no problems at all the settings here are 300 millimeters per minute 100 percent power and as you can see we've got a nice clean cut now we're going to engrave something on this acrylic sheet um, we're going to do in fill option and a line option so you can see the difference in quality in both now the settings here are engraving 10,000 millimeters per minute 100 percent power and the line option is 6,000 millimeters per minute 100 percent power and there you go 
it came out really, really nice. I think I would actually reduce the amount of power I have used, probably to about 80 or even 60. But overall, <laughs> really nice. I think it came out quite, quite good. Okay, now it's time to try and cut leather. Now the one I've got is five millimeters thick, really dense, hard leather. So I'm not sure if it's actually gonna be able to cut through that uh, at all, but let's have a look. Um, five passes yeah, and went through and it almost <laughs> on the last uh, straw look at that yeah it managed to cut through and quite good quality as well not much charring on it at all wow that's quite good going i have to say settings here 300 millimeters per minute 100 percent power okay now let's try to engrave that piece of leather and see what type of performance we'll get out of that. Now the settings this time are 10,000 millimeters per minute and 40% power. Again, fill and the line option is 6,000 millimeters per minute, 40% power. And let's have a look at the results. Well, I have to say, nice, crisp, clean engravement on leather. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. Spot on. And for the last test, I'm gonna engrave a piece of tile. It's white, as you can see. And again, we're gonna do the fill option and the line option. And the settings are the same for fill and line. Both are 500 millimeters per minute with 100% power. And this is what we've got. The fill option came out really nice. It's actually quite deep as well under the finger. So it's nice and detailed. The line option is a little bit less visible to be expected. However, if we use a different color tile, I think it would look different. I also done ASA P10 on this. Um, so you can see the comparison, but yeah, Falcon 2, good performance. If you want to find out a little bit more about this machine, I'm going to drop some links down below in the description of this video so you can read uh, a little bit more in depth about the specs of it. However, considering the price tag, I think you are really getting a very quality tool here, guys, um, for personal use or actually business as well. Now, are there any major issues or concerns with this machine? I had it for about four weeks now. I've done a few projects. Uh, if you want to see those videos, me <laughs> tackling the projects with this laser, I'm gonna drop you the links to those videos down below in the description of this video so you can go have a look. But uh, so far, I have really not found anything majorly really wrong with this tool. But if I were nitpicking and finding the potential issues that you may come across this machine, I think it's the, the wires and the air assist hose and the uh, power cable just over here. It does have that channel through there, but what I found on larger projects, it can get tangled between uh, the aluminium um, support. So that's one of the things you need to watch out for. I've actually added um, one more additional um, cable tie to it and that solved the problem. So not a major big deal here uh, if you do your cable management correctly and you check for any potential problems you think you may come across, you can solve them quite easily. Overall, I'm really impressed with this tool and I think you will be too if you decide to purchase this. If you're interested in other lasers I've got in my workshop or just projects around the workshop, I've got you covered. I've got some really cool playlists just over here selected specially for you. So go and have a look. Maybe a video will pique your interest. So hopefully I'll see you on those videos there. Take care.